Okay, hi guys, and welcome to another episode of my Stevenage career mode. Today's game is the FA Cup replay at home to Sunderland. The first game was drawn for real. This is the second update of today. Hopefully, I'll be getting at least two updates out every day. Expect a couple more on Sundays, probably none on Saturdays, if, especially if I'm going to an away game. But as you can see in the starting lineup here, I made a couple of changes. The most noticeable one being I dropped Luke Freeman, brought in Kadeem Harris. I wanted to rest Freeman ideally, but I had him on the bench if needed. <coughs> I also put uh, James Dunn on the bench, as per usual, when I uh, draw a decent result, or sorry, a win. If I need to hold on to a win at some point, then he's your man to bring in defence midfield. Anyway, as you can see, early start here, it's just the second minute, Barkoff, he goes running into the box, Hiting goes pulling his shirt, and I still don't understand this, but somehow, I got a penalty. Uh, don't ask me how. <coughs> You'll see the replay here in a minute, sorry about the coughing. You'll see the replay here. I still have no idea what he did wrong, but I got a penalty. Sonia Luco is my new penalty taker. And could there have been a bigger time to be able to score his first goal for the club? <coughs> no, there couldn't. I was quite worried there. Got it slightly into the orange, but a great penalty. Right into the top corner. No keeper's going to be stopping that. At the same time, though, I was quite uh, quite annoyed that I had scored so early on. It's much better to score in 90 minutes to get the 1-0. But it reminds me of last year in real life. We played Tottenham in the fifth round replay. And... We scored a third minute penalty in that one as well. Anyway, eighth minute, Sunderland with their first attack of the game. They're coming down here, James McLean. What a quality talent he is, but he crosses it in and Guilherme, he'd, he'd annihilated me in the first leg as well and he got his sixth goal of the season. Three of those have been against me, which is frustrating. But I, I knew I could still get this. They did this before to me. And I came on the attack again, 14th minute. Don't know what he's doing out there, but Jack Robinson, first goal for the club. The left back popping it in with his right foot, using his pace to get away from his marker. And after 15 minutes, it was 2-1, shaping up to be a brilliant game. <coughs> and Jack Robinson, now have his first goal for the club. Could there be a more important one while he's here for the rest of the season? As you can see here, this is pretty much straight from the kickoff. They have a shot. I try to clear it, acrobatic clearance from Bissetti, but suddenly pick up the ball again. Stephen Fletcher again here. He has the shot. It's saved, but Cessignon's there to turn in the rebound. And just two minutes after my goal, they've come back. It's 2 all. Quick break here. You know what's going to happen when I have quick breaks. I have such a pacey front line, especially now I've got Barkroft in at striker rather than Dante or Haber. And I come down here, get the cross in. Barkroft with the header. Saved by the keeper. But again, I got a penalty. And again, I don't know why. Uh, Aluko again, obviously, steps up. Again, I'm slightly worried this was slightly in the orange zone, but right in the top corner. It's even more in the corner than last time. As I said before, just repeating myself because it's exactly the same penalty. No keeper in the world is going to save that. It's a great penalty. and It's fair to say at this point, I was pretty chuffed to be 3-2 up. Keep having had them keep on equalising. I decided to just go ultra defensive for the rest of that half, to see it out to half time, and hopefully push on in the second half. That I did. Second half here, as you can see, Sunderland are going on an attack straight here. Straight off the mark. It's the 48th minute. Here's Gardner and Stephen Fletcher. I should have realised it was going to happen when I went defensive for the rest of the first half. <coughs> but there's Stephen Fletcher with his goal. Again, he's not going to miss those, and on came Lukey Freeman. It was definitely time for him. Desperate for the win here. Desperate for revenge after what happened last season. In he cuts here. Has the shot. Got a good save by Mignolet there. Freeman just loves to do that. All my, all my wingers love to do that. I love to do that. Cut inside with this little trick here. You'll see it again here. That little trick there. It's beautiful. But this time he cuts inside. Gets pushed off the ball. Barkroft pushes through the crowded defence and smashes it in the back of the net. In the 78th minute, I knew I now had to hold on for dear life. I knew it was going to be tough, so I made a couple of alterations. On came Super Sub Shruti. If we could get a goal, it'd be amazing. As you can see, nothing much happened in the rest of the game, though, which was surprising. Usually, if a CPU finds itself one goal down in the last 10 minutes, they'll put all their possible pressure on you that they can. But this time, didn't happen. 
thank God. And I came through with the win, which I was very happy about. As you can see, I just drink, drank it all in for a couple of minutes here, watching Sunderland play his commiserating. It was quite a strong team they put out for the replay. As you can see, Sessegnon, Mignolet, Heitinger, Fletcher. I'm not sure how much Guilherme is playing, but if he's only scored six all season, and three of those have been against me, it can't be that much. And you can see here that in the next round, I'm, face, I'm facing Reading, which will be a massive game. Also got some more money, which is always nice, especially when you're on such a tight budget. I did just skip forward again here, and I checked the calendar, I believe, here. Anyway, I've got Reading in the next round. That will be a massive game. And, yeah, I'll see you all next time. <clears throat> That'll be a massive game, coming up soon. Bye.